Okay, so I'm hearing news about AKA Bengate uh, for these new Apple phones, man. The iPhone 6, man, what, what's going on? People can't even wear skinny jeans no more, even though I thought that shit was a crime in the first place. But the new iPhones are bending and curving, you know, just by putting it in your front pocket. Not even, not even in your back pocket, your front pocket. Like, you, you can't even, you, you can't even, you know, be unconscious with these phones, man. Like, it, it's ridiculous. And I, I, I hate iPhones. I hate iPhones so much. I think they're the dumbest product in history. I, I hate iTunes. I hate everything. I, I, Apple, whatever. I'm strictly, I'm a keyboard kind of guy. I need to type in things physically. You know, I, I have a keyboard phone, and I'll, I'll stay that way till they stop making them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to keep this phone till, you know, they, they just go out of, you know, complete discontinued fashion but um this new news and everybody's talking about well you know you need to stop making phones out of plastic well this new aluminum uh, metal feeling new phones are bending and what would you expect like you you're so eager to buy these newer flatter designed phones and yet here they are bending and then soon they will break on you and there's a couple of pictures out there on the internet and people from I Apple are just apologizing, like, you know, like, like Japanese businessmen just bowing down right in front of your face. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, no. Bangate is real. And this is what happens when you give in to the hype. This is what happens. These iPhone products, man, they're, it's ridiculous. And I, I'm... And this is could be a big problem for Apple. Yeah, I'm, I'm biased on it because I, I don't like Apple at all. And, you know, I stick with the tried and true. I'm not that fancy of a gadget of a guy, you know. I still have a laptop. I, I don't do tablets or any of that. I might adapt to that later on, you know, in the future when I get some more income. But come on, man. This, this, this. First you copy off of, you know, the Galaxy Note by making your, your screens bigger and, everything like that and and then now now this you know now bending now you come out with a phone every like three months and and now this happens you, you know people wise up man wise up and be wary of your money that these phones are costing as much as a system a freaking console a laptop which can do way more and which is way more stable in these phones but yet you're investing 400 something dollars into these things and I'm looking at you guys like what 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 the hell what's going on what is wrong with you guys but you know everybody has their own thing everybody is committed to a product maybe people you know had good experiences with Apple and with iTunes I, I never really had a good experience with the Apple products. Maybe some people did and some people like the operating system, the iOS and how it feels and how it looks and how it's, you know, uh, designed or whatever. I'm a big design fan and, you know, the, the iOS, that design is nice. It's clean, it's fresh, the squares, it, it really pops, you know, everything about it, but it's just the phones, man. You, you can't, it's the same thing that, the, like, that they're doing with Capcom that they're doing with I iPhones, man. You, you come out with a product, and a couple months later, you got something else, you know, separately on the side, and then I gotta buy this one to keep up with the updates. Or I gotta buy this one, you know, that should've been on the on the first model, but it's gonna be like an iPhone 6S, P, S, P, so, you, you know, this is just nonsense. So, let me stop rambling here. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of hashtag Bengate. I'm seeing all this stuff, and it's it it's nuts, man. It's freaking nuts. I mean, after I knew something was gonna happen after I saw the actual uh, guy who bought the phone and actually dropped it. But he was the first guy to actually buy a phone on national television, and he drops it. You know what I'm saying? It was like that omen. It's like the Madden curse. You can feel it. It's real. 
It is real. And, you know, Richard Sermon, you better watch out, because that Madden curse is something else, boy. <laughs> it is something serious. <laughs> I mean, that curse did so a, a number on Peyton Hillis. And where is he now? Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's enough news for me right now, man. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'll be having more news later on. If I, you know, if something new pops up, uh, uh, go on my Twitter. It's Alter Element. Uh, my Facebook, Alter Element Games. Go to the fan page. I'm always there. Thank you so much, guys, for supporting my channel. I'll have more gameplay of Nas Goth and more Super Spy September content coming up. I'm doing the Golden Eye review. I'm almost done. Thank you so much, guys, for supporting me. Again, I keep saying this, but a lot of people has helped me out and giving me feedback on my channel, and I just started out. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. Cafe LA. Peace and love. I'm out.